Hey guys! So, um, today is Sunday, which means that it's weigh-in day. Um, <sighs> I'm sorry this was up so late. I've just been really busy today and stressed out, and I just didn't really want to make a video this morning. Um, and it's not because I did bad. I actually did really good. I just didn't feel like it. So, it's 6 o'clock, and you are now getting your weigh-in. Um, okay, so... Last week was, I went in at 334.9, um, <sighs> um, little disclaimer, okay, a little disclaimer, um, sorry about this, whatever, uh, I didn't think I was going to lose very much this week because... I've been really stressed out. My anxiety has been through the roof. So, um, unfortunately, when that happens, I do not eat very well. And I'm not a stress eater. I don't overeat. Um, when I'm stressed, I undereat. So, most of the days this week, I could get to like 30 points, maybe 35, 40, and I'm supposed to be at 51. Um, whatever it is, what it is. So I didn't think I was going to lose very much, and, um, sorry, this shirt is really big on me now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's probably like two sizes too big. Okay, anyways, um, I just didn't think I was going to lose very much, so, plus I was on, um, my period, so, um, I just didn't think I was going to lose very much. I was hoping for a maintain, honestly. So I stepped on the scale at um, 332.2, so that's a 2.7 pound loss for week 21, yeah. Um, so that's 52.8 pounds so far, which is awesome. Uh, my next big goal, you guys know, is uh, 100 pounds by my birthday. So I have 19 weigh-ins left and 47.2 pounds. So. Who knows, I might be able to do it. I have no idea. I have no idea. <sighs> so sorry. Okay, so a couple quick things. Um, not really quick, who am I kidding? So my mom got her report out on Friday, which you guys know if you've seen her, the chemo video. Um, the port is the thing that was underneath her skin that uh, the chemicals went through when she got chemo. Uh, they let her get it out on Friday, which means no more chemo ever, um, hopefully. Um, and she's been doing radiation, and uh, her last day of radiation is Wednesday. So, super excited because it's, it's, um... It's just really awesome to not have to go there every day. So, yeah, um, and then after that we wait six months and then get a mammogram and see what it looks like. And hopefully there's nothing there. So, kind of irritated that we have to wait an entire six months, but according to her oncologist, he doesn't think that anything will be there. Um, and it usually takes about six months for if something is going to come back, that's when it would show up. It wouldn't show up sooner than that, so, um, fingers crossed that it's clear. Um, so yeah, cancer treatment is almost done, which is super exciting. They will not declare her cancer-free for another five years because that is the, there's like a 30% chance that it'll come back within five years, so, um, and she has to be on like anti-estrogen pills for the next five years because her cancer was estrogen receptive, which means like the hormones in her body fed it basically and made it produce. So, anywho, that's exciting news. Yay for no more treatment on Wednesday. Um, also, I wanted to talk about eating out. Okay, so my week. Monday was a good day. Um, for eating. I think I ate all my points. <sighs> Tuesday, I 
ate pretty good on my points. Um, we went to my niece's play. She was in James and the Giant Peach. Yeah, I have video and a bunch of pictures that I'm probably gonna put up on here just for like my own personal whatever. Sorry, there's a bunch of kids outside. Um, but yeah, and then my cousin was like, oh hey, let's go to Applebee's afterwards. And I was like, okay, because Applebee's is a Weight Watchers menu. I can do that. Well, we pulled up and um, it was super packed. So she's like, let's go to this Mexican restaurant. And I was like, ooh. Okay, I've never been out to eat at a Mexican restaurant since being on Weight Watchers. Um, in fact, I moved up here um, to the town that I live in now uh, about three years ago, and I haven't ate Mexican food since then, since I moved from my hometown. So, <laughs> I was really, really nervous, and my anxiety went <laughs> through the roof. Um, we sat down. It was a little smaller family-owned restaurant. We're looking at things to eat, and um, I asked the waitress if they had like a nutritional menu, and she said no. So I'm looking at these things, and they're saying smothered and cheese and deep fried and this and this and this and that. And um, so you know what I did? I ate nothing. Um, I had a diet Pepsi, just because I felt like it wasn't worth my anxiety or my points to have to eat, you know, whatever deep fried madness I was going to put into my body. So I opted to just not get anything and I was totally fine with it. I wasn't like, oh, I need to have something right now. You know, it, I mean, it was didn't even smell that good, honestly. Um, and I'm kind of a weirdo when it comes to this stuff. Like when I go out to eat now, I smell, I like think about the grease and stuff and I just, it's really hard for me to do. So. I didn't eat the Mexican food. I actually tweeted and I was like, oh my god, what should I get? I'm freaking out. Nobody tweeted me back, rudeness. So I got nothing. <laughs> um, and it wasn't a bigger chain restaurant, so I couldn't have gone onto like a website or like anything like that. So yeah, that's that. She, The girl was trying to be nice and she's like, but they cook all our vegetables in oil and you know, all of their chicken in oil and I just wasn't going to do it. So, that being said, um, I've been super stressed out the rest of the week because we are moving. Uh, I'm moving. I'm moving home, back to my hometown, and it's not an easy move because it's about three hours south of here. So, it's really stressful. It's stressful. It's annoying. It's yeah but it needs to be done, so, um, yeah, you guys will be along the way for that. That's why I wasn't on this morning, because I was packing and, you know, so, um, yeah, moving, that's fun, super fun stuff, probably be out by July 1st, hopefully, um, at the latest, probably July 1st, but uh, might be sooner, so who knows, who knows, who knows. We're going to go check out the place on Wednesday, um, so we'll find out. Um, oh, I wanted to give a congratulations to Trissy, Little Fat Me Blog. Um, she has reached her one year. She has also reached 105 pounds, so that is amazing. And you need to check out her latest video. Yes, it's 35 minutes long, but I watched the entire thing, so you should too. <laughs> um, also check out Journey to Cinefy. Her and her husband are in Atlanta right now, and they're taking us on a trip, pretty much, through Atlanta. Stop! I swear I'm not going to get the deposit back from this house because of that. Because of that right there. Yeah, I don't even know. So, I'm packing stuff, and it's fun. I'm just really stressed out. <laughs> My anxiety is like 
It's crazy. I, I had a full-blown panic attack on Friday. I've never had like a full-on, I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital because I couldn't breathe. So, that's no fun. Um, but I hope you guys are doing Betty, better, Betty. I hope you guys are doing Betty. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing better. Um, and I hope you guys are losing weight. I know Cindy Lou just moved to Virginia, Virginia, West Virginia, something like that. Um, and her husband's coming home soon, yay! Um, I know Mel Chaos Life, her husband just came home. Maybe. I'm pretty sure. And then um, DJ Breck is somewhere not making videos. And Stacy's gonna go on a trip to Florida soon, to the beach. And um, I think we all should take a uh, do a meetup next summer, summer 2012, um, in Vegas. He's scratching on his scratch post, so that's good. It doesn't happen very often. Um, I'm just sitting here talking now. School is not going fantastic. My school is fine, but um, unfortunately, I was not. I'm not able to register until the sixth. And um, second year sophomores, the ones that are closest to getting their associate's degree, closest to graduating, can um, register a month before us. So there are no more classes available for summer term, which is not an option for me. The only class, literally the only class that's left, is a $1,500 trip to Costa Rica to study scuba diving. Really? Are you serious? No. So um, I'm checking out some other options because um, I have to go to school. It's a must. It is a must, must, must. Um, but I'll find that, I'll find that, um, information out on Monday. Um, I know it'll work out because I just know it will. It has to. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I lost 2.7 pounds this week, so that's good. The last five minutes of this, this video has been crap, so comment if you got that far. Um. I don't know what else to say or what else to talk about. I'm going to go make a turkey sandwich, I think. And, ooh, have you guys been watching Mob Wives? I freaking love it. Now, I'm kind of scared for these women because their husbands are in the mob. Half of them are in prison. Um, and they're, like, all up on TV and whatnot. I would be terrified if I were them. But... They're a mob wife, so I guess they have people backing them up. But I find it hilariously entertaining. I'm all about um, reality TV. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Have a good night, you guys, and I will talk to you soon. I'll try to make a midweek update, maybe, or just like a vlog this week. If you guys want to see this lovely face some more, comment below.